Question 1. What is JMS? Answer. JMS means Java Messaging Service. It is the new standard for inter-client communication. It allows the J2EE application component to create, send, read and receive the messages. Question 2. What type of messaging is provided by JMS? Answer. JMS provides both type of messaging, synchronous asynchronous. Question 3. What do you mean by synchronous and asynchronous type of messaging? Answer. Synchronous. In this type of messaging, client waits for the server to respond to a message. X. Telephone call. Two-way radio communication. Asynchronous. In this type of messaging, client does not wait for a message from the server, but automatically an event is created to trigger a message from a server. X. Email. Text messaging. Blog posting. Question 4. How many types of messaging model do JMS provide for and what are they? Answer. There are two types of messaging models that JMS provides point-to-point -point queuing. Second one is public and subscribe. Question 5. Mention different types of messages available in JMS API. Answer. The different types of messages available in JMS API are message, text message, bytes message, object message and map message. Question 6. What is the difference between the P2P, peer-to-peer, -peer, model and subscribe model? Answer. P2P model is highly reliable and it is used in a one-to-one -one situation, while subscribe model is used in one-to-many situation. It is very fast but less reliable. Question 7. What is a JMS client? Answer. JMS client is a language program that sends or receives messages. Question 8. Can we send email messages using JMS? Answer. JMS has no inherent support for email operations. Question 9. Explain how application server handles the JMS connection. Answer. With the help of application server, the server session is created and it stores them in a pool to put messages in JMS session. Connection consumer uses the server session. Server session is the one that creates the JMS session application written by application programmers creates the message listener. Question 10. What is the difference between JMS and RPC? Remote procedure call? Answer. The basic difference between JMS and RPC lies in the way they message. JMS uses asynchronous messaging type while RPC creates synchronous messaging type. The method invoker in RPC waits for the method to finish execution and return back the control to the invoker. In JMS the message sender just sends the message to the destination and continues its own processing. Question 11. Explain how does the JMS work with the J2EE? Answer. The application client like Enterprise Java Beans components and web components can send or receive JMS message synchronously. In addition, the application clients can also receive message asynchronously. With the help of message-driven beans, JMS provider can optionally implement the processing of messages. Message-driven beans are a type of enterprise bean that enables the asynchronous consumption of messages. The operation of sending and receiving message is carried out in distributed operation, which allows JMS operations and database accesses within a single transaction. Question 12. What are the types of messages that are supported by JMS? Answer. The types of messages that are supported by JMS are stream messages, text messages, map messages, bytes messages, object messages. Question 13. What is MUM in reference to JMS? Answer. The MUM, Message Oriented Middleware, is a software that works as an intermediate between two communicating components. It is placed between the client and server. MUM provides the facility of passing message by using the technique queuing. Until the client does not request to read the message, the messages will be stored in queue. By using this technique, the software component can work independently of time. Question 14. How you can deliver a Java message to a non-Java client? Answer. First of all, after receiving the message from topic or queue, the message has to be converted into a non-Java client according to their specification. The message once converted to non-Java client, it can be delivered. Question 15. For sending messages through JMS, what encryption options are there? Answer. The encryption and decryption of the messages is handled by JMS provider and not JMS specifications. Sonic MQ by Progress Software is a leading JMS provider and they do encryption through encryption mechanisms called quality of protection.